What is up you guys? So I just got a message from Apple saying that my replacement battery for my iPhone 10 is at the store. So now I can actually go there and have it replaced. So um, this, if you don't remember, I did uh, part one of this vlog of, like a week ago and um, they had to order the part because they didn't have it in store. Um, but now they do. So I'm gonna be on my way to the Apple store. I actually convinced my parents to let me go by myself this time. So yeah, it should be fun. Um, I will see you guys when I get there. Okay guys, so I now have my phone back here and as you can see, my battery health is now 100% and I also got it for the lower price of $29 since I came before the end of the year. So that's awesome and yeah, iPhone with new battery. So the repair process took about three hours. They said it would take two, but it took three. So I'm probably gonna be late to work now, but it's fine. So anyways, um, finally got my battery replaced. Probably one of the last people to get it done on the lower price. So yeah. Hey everybody, so this video was actually recorded a week ago. I just keep forgetting to upload it. So I just wanted to take a second to talk about my whole experience with this battery replacement, just so this video isn't super short. So as soon as Apple added the iPhone 8 and 10 to the $29 battery replacement program, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it at the very end of the year, just so I can have the new battery be good for as long as possible. And that's what I did. I made the appointment for December 30th at the Apple store. Um, there's actually no Apple store in my city, but we do have a Simply Mac store. And I could have gone there, but I kind of, first of all, I like going to the Apple store. Um, I like driving, so yeah. And also, um, there's just something about the authentic Apple store. I mean, the Simply Mac is an authorized reseller, but I would still trust the Apple store more. So yeah, anyways. Um, so I went in expecting to have the new battery in the phone two hours later, but unfortunately they had to order it in. And the battery took exactly one week to get in. So it was Sunday, December 30th, and I got the um, phone call and the email confirming that it had been delivered on Sunday, January 6th. So I went back to the Apple store. I was going to email them to see if they could have the battery shipped to the Simply Mac store, but I forgot, so it was too late. Um, so I had to go back down again, but it was all right. It was fun. Also, the guy that helped me was very attractive. Anyways, that's not important. So just saying as I'm glad I went there and not um, Simply Mac. So yeah, I dropped off my phone at about noon and they said it would take two hours and I could come back and pick it up at two. So I got to the Apple store at two and I asked the employee if my phone was done yet and they said um no probably just another 15 minutes so i waited for over an hour and it still wasn't done so finally at like 3 15 they were finally done so that was a little annoying it did make me late to work but i mean it's okay P technically i got to work 30 minutes late and i didn't take a break which i would have if i didn't get there late so technically i just took my break at the beginning of the shift just saying if you want to think about it that way so I didn't make any less money so we're fine um so anyways yeah but my battery is now replaced it was at 85% um, health when I brought it in and now of course it's at 100 so that'll be good since I plan on keeping my phone for a long time most people would keep their phone for maybe two years but I want to keep it until there's actually compelling reason to upgrade um, so I'm thinking four, maybe five years, so 2022 even. And with newer software on old hardware becoming less and less of an issue, I think it'll be definitely possible. Like that iPhone 6S from 2015 is still thriving on iOS 12 in 2019. So hoping the same thing will happen with the iPhone 10. And yeah, um, probably won't have to get my battery replaced again. I mean, maybe. I got it replaced about 13 months after I got it, 
and it was at 85%, which I feel like it shouldn't have been any lower than 90% really, so I don't know if there's a problem with mine, but yeah, um, if I do have to get it replaced again, it's now $69, and for, just for the iPhone 10 and the 10s and 10r and then for the rest of them iphone 6 through 8 is 49 dollars now so still lower than the 79 dollars um, from before so yeah that was my whole experience with my iphone battery replacement i'm very happy with the result even though it took a little bit too long but yeah um that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you guys next time bye